Yeah, I had to recently started pouring my own lures, and I went to Walmart and picked up a four pound box of plaster Paris. It cost about 388, so it's fairly cheap. And with that, I made about eight molds of these half-sided molds. And right here is four of them that I made. And our first bait is a chunk trailer. Second one is a zoom centipede worm. Third one is a zoom magnum trick worm. And then we have a regular four inch trick worm from zoom. And these molds took about an hour to make. And I just thought I'd show you guys what the baits come out to be when I pour them in there. And I just used recycled old soft plastic lures that the bass had already tore up. Yeah, so, so I'm just gonna microwave this and show you what it looks like after two minutes. Hey guys, that was two minutes, and it's a clear liquid, so we're going to uh, pour the baits. Now we'll go to the centipedes. Now the magnum worms. And the trick worms, the smaller ones. And then we'll show you guys what they look like when they harden up. Okay, so we let the baits harden for about three minutes, and I'll just pull these out and show you guys what they look like. Here's the first one. It's a chunk trailer. And the one right here is a store bot. This is the mold, molded one, as you can see from me pulling it out. Now we'll move on to the centipede. And any of this little extra stuff, you can just pull it right off. It comes off pretty easy. And here's this one compared to the store-bought one. Just a little bit smaller because it's a one-piece mold, but it's not really a big difference. Got the Magnum Trick Worm, pulled off some of that stuff. And off and on you'll get air bubbles in some of these, but it's not too bad. Just pull this out. And here's that one versus a store-bought. There's like barely any difference. And then we'll move on to the regular four inch trick worm. And get some of this stuff off. And there it is compared to the store bought one. Basically, no difference. And I coated the molds with 50% glue and 50% water. You just mix it. I use Gorilla Glue just to create like a little uh, cream kind of or paste and coated it in here with a paintbrush. And if you have a problem with the lures not coming out shiny enough, you can just use uh, oil, olive oil, like the spray kind. You can spray it in the mold about every two or three times you use that part of the mold and spray it in there and it should make it shiny enough. And these are some of the lures that I've made over the past few days. A good amount of them. I mean, you can make any colors basically because they're just old baits that I've recycled. And got a ton of them in here and it's all free basically you're just taking a broken down lure and turning it into a new one and as you can see from all these other ones they look fine and don't think the bass will prefer either one more than the other so and at the end you're left with whatever you didn't use so you get like a free yo-yo all right thanks guys for watching subscribe and comment please and also do this in a ventilated area because inhaling the smoke and stuff i've heard is not good for you so, well, you kind of figure that, it's common sense, but also uh, in the bottom of the description, I left a link where you can go to a site to find out how to make these molds right here, and it's really simple, so you guys should try it. Thanks for watching.